hello my gorgeous friends on the internet how are you all doing i'm glad to have you guys here again and uh, thank you so much for clicking on the link to watch this video all right so this is going to be a playlist and uh, it's going to be so much education and you're going to learn new things i promise you okay so this is a wallpaper application right and it works for android and ios okay but for ios you can only download the wallpaper to your gallery right your photos then you can go there and apply it but for android you can apply it apply it to your home screen to the lock screen or to both screen right and uh, with this i created an admin panel so anybody that decides to own the app right can upload apply wallpaper and also download wallpapers right you can also set your categories and you can set wallpaper change in Tava. So what this means is that you can go to settings and schedule when you want to change the wallpaper, right? And for this, I was able to use Work Manager to handle the stacks, right? And when I tested it, it was working smoothly, okay? And also, be able to add to favorite. Also, you will be able to download your wallpaper, just as I said initially. So you can add to favorite, delete from favorite, view your favorite items, right? And all this is going to be done with Firebase, right? Then let's look at what you're going to learn in this tutorial. We are going to be using Provider as the preferred uh, state management. I love Provider a lot. I use it in a lot of my projects and sometimes I use Block. But Provider gives me uh, what I want, right? So I just stick with it. So you're going to learn how to effectively use Provider for managing your states. You're also going to learn how to create utils files to make your work easier while you're building your applications. You're also going to learn uh, clean patterns uh, when it comes to separation of consigns. Okay. You're also going to learn the use of Firebase services. So we're going to be using the Firebase Alt. We are going to be using Firebase Cloud Storage. We're going to be use Firebase uh, Storage Cloud Fire Store. We are also going to be using yeah Firebase Authentication. Yeah, I said that already. Okay, and then um, we are going to be using Work Manager for background scheduling. So we are going to be using this to uh, set the intervals and when the wallpaper is going to change. Even though the user, you can just select all the wallpapers you want to be changing at a specific interval, right? Then you can close the app and the Work Manager will take everything, right? And it will start uh, doing its work on behind the scene right in the background okay and your wallpaper will be changing every x amount of minutes and i'm also going to show you guys how to use our packages on pop.dev uh, to apply wallpaper download packages download wallpaper and all that okay and we are also going to be seeing how to use path provider to use you know get a path from the device and also this project is different from what i've been doing before right on my previous videos i've been using layer first approach but for this i decided to introduce feature first project structure you guys are definitely going to love it this is so sweet and it's perfect when it comes to uh, building large projects okay and uh if you are like me or let's say you're not too patient you can go to play store right and search a uh, wallpaper app right and you're going to see the app is already uploaded one plus download and you can just give it a shot right just test it once you test it you see the future if it's something that you love then you can now continue with the you can see where you can set the intervals right you can set auto change what you can select the wallpapers you want to be changing right so that's pretty much it for this i just wanted to introduce the whole course and everything 